I'm Julie Juno. I'm a glass artist and I blow glass right here in the studio. We are at Yaya Studio. It's a nonprofit dedicated to kids, young artists, and aspirations here in Central City. The theme for the 2016 awards is a Parisian circus in the 1930s. So we decided that our colors were red, black, and white. So that's what we are working with. And um, I try to transition that into the pieces and, and embody it in the pieces. And in fact, some of the globes have tight wires around them. So that was kind of one of the transitions and a way to showcase what the theme is for this year. Today I'm going to be making one of the big centerpieces for the LEH Awards dinner. So we're going to make a big centerpiece that will be red and black and I'm going to spin it out at the end. So we'll cross our fingers that it works out. I find glass fascinating because it's it's sharp, it's breakable, it's fragile, but at the same time once you find out and start to make it, you realize how how tough and hard and strong you have to be in the beginning of the glass. So sometimes you're touching it in a very fragile way, like brushing a hair from your face, but other times you have to really be strong and get in there and dig. All right, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I have this t-shirt since about 1989 and I happened to start wearing it this year while I was blowing glass and then once I met with the LEH and we talked about the awards for this year and I realized that Zachary was honored as the humanist of the year I had to show them this t-shirt and say that I had been wearing it and he had been inspiring me not just in life and in culture but right here in the glass studio so I actually wore the Zachary Richard t-shirt to make every single one of the awards this year for the LEH Bright Flights. He's been inspiring me since I first learned of his work since 1989 even though he's been around for a long time before that and with his songs and music and certainly with uh, sharing his knowledge of Cajun culture that has been very inspiring and I think that as the humanist of the year his storytelling capability and it embodies what the LEH is about and what it does share the historical and cultural knowledge of the people of Louisiana with the people of Louisiana